What's going on everyone? Welcome to a very windy day in my uh, back garden. I'm going to be trying to finally get the front lid painted. I've painted the side skirts as I've, as I've shown you previously on another video. I want to try and get the front lid painted. The reason being, it's probably going to be one of the last dry days. As if it stays dry, it's predicted for rain at about six. Um, but I also don't want to put the side skirts on until the front lip's painted. Um, because it just looked really odd with just side skirts on. Side skirts and front lip would normally look all right. Side skirts by themselves. Not a big fan of that, so I'll show you the side skirts. I've been sort of, you know, looking after these in the garden. They've just sort of stayed outside because they're painted, they're just ready to go. But they are, as you can see, a nice silver. The front lip, though, does need finishing off. It's smooth to, to touch, but it just needs roughing up. I did the um, cracks in it previously and I repaired those. But yeah, the, the side skirts, the other ones there, I've just been sat in the garden, so. That is the plan for today. Get this prepped, get a colour on it at least, and then I can worry about lacquer later. If the weather holds out, if it's warm-ish enough, um, I'll be able to get a nice-ish finish. I'm saying ish quite a lot. I'm not very confident at the minute. And I'm going to use the uh, some spare wood to um, get a bit of a frame made up for it to, to suspend it in the air while I paint it. So that's the plan. Look at the state of this. <laughs> yeah, look, it works. So I used these. I used these bits previously for the side skirts, and you know, just to sort of prop them up off the floor. The side skirt just sort of sat on top of it, and it was so that I could raise the side skirt up off the deck, you know, so that I wasn't missing any of the side skirt being covered by grass and stuff like that. Please ignore the rattling. I've got a tin in my pocket. This is just to brace the two together in the centre and then just put like an extra leg at the bottom there to stop it from falling. But yeah, it works. So next step now then is to whip this off, give it a bit of a clean, give it a go over with some 1000 grit and uh, get it in a position where I can give it a spray. So it's all sanded now with like 1000 grit. You can see it's nice and sort of smooth to the eye now. Um, it's not perfect, it's not going to be perfect. It's a back garden spray job. If you're looking for something perfect and go follow like SOS Customs or something on YouTube. This is just a, can we, sorry about the wind, but this is just a, can we get the front lip sprayed and fitted and make it look half decent. So next step, get it sprayed. And for those of you unfamiliar as well with what um, lip this is, it's a Jun style front lip for the EK Civic facelift. Anyway, get to spraying. That's the colour on, as you can see. It's looking very, very metallic. Hope the, uh, hope the camera can pick that up. There you go, that. It always looks so much better on the camera than what it does in actu <laughs> actually in person. Which is uh, good for Instagram, not so good for uh, car mates. But yeah, it's, uh, it's looking all right. 
it's looking decent. So uh, we've got, as it stands, blue skies. So I think I might be able to get some lacquer on it and uh, make it look a tad bit better, tad more of a uh, professional job. Well, uh, we will see. The colour definitely brings out the shapes, no doubt about that. So, as you can see, I've just painted it. I've just got some lacquer ready to go. Um, assuming it's clear lacquer, acrylic. Um, this is such, such a rush job, just because I just, I'm sick of it being in my garden, I'm sick of it not being on my car, I'm sick of my car not being finished, I'm sick of not having any, we any weather, I'm just sick of everything. <laughs> so the next job, lacquer it up. And uh, fingers, fingers crossed, if you can just see them, that it looks all right, it looks reasonable. So that's the lacquer done, and it's not come out too bad to be fair. Pull a bit of focus on that. You can see the uh, nice bit of shine that we were able to get, the nice gloss effect we were able to get. On the camera I think all you can see is the, uh, the metallic, to be honest, but it's not bad at all. If you can get a bit of a reflection at this, in this bit. See a bit of the sky maybe. But yeah, not bad, I'm quite... I find painting so, so stressful, just because it's just... Especially when you're outside and you've not got anywhere to do it, and there's just leaves and crap falling off trees. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look bad at all now. I'm probably gonna have like a, a decal or something there. Most likely something in the middle and the center. Same on that side, just because this is gonna be, as I've mentioned in so many other videos, the um, making my 14 year old self proud Honda Civic Hot Boy Ricer build. Don't know any more uh, words I could fit into that description, but <laughs> God. And now I've just got, now I've just got a bag. You can't really see because of how much. Right, that's about to knock off, but now I've just got a bag filled with a, uh, a hammer, a tin of spray paint, um, you know, just, just general things really that you'd have in uh, in Leeds in your backpack, so yeah, looking good. When the when the skirts and the, uh, the front lip's on, should look pretty good. So that's going to be it today, I'm going to leave that to dry now, fingers crossed it doesn't fall over in the wind, although the wind has died down quite a bit now, thankfully. But I dare say it was helping it dry with the temperature at the minute, I think it's about 10 degrees C. Definitely, definitely, I wouldn't recommend anybody paint in this weather, whether it's cold, wet, damp, even moisture in the air, anything like that, you know, and when it's rainy and there's crap falling off trees, especially not. <laughs> but. Um, Needs must, and the show will go on as they say. I'm just glad that you know I've I've got a, a day that looks like it's going to stay dry for it, long, long enough for it to dry. You know the the paint to dry on the on the front lip. But yeah, I'm going to call the video here. Stay tuned for more Civic Coupe build and uh, for more videos like this. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.